Well, hello, boys and girls. It's me again, Mr. Bedley, and here we go with... Oh, not that. Don't want to do that. Geography for grades four and five. Another lesson. Let's see what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn some more labels to go on the globe. Six more, to be exact. These do get a little tricky, so pay close attention. First of all, we want to learn what the northern, southern, western, and eastern hemispheres are. I want you to think about this. If this was the Earth, that was a globe, there would be two basic ways that you could cut that in half. And hemi means half. Sphere means like a ball. So this is the Earth, which is like a ball. So a hemisphere is half of the Earth. So the two basic ways that you could cut this in half would be whoopsh, like that, you could just slice it right down the middle from North Pole to South Pole. Another way that you could cut the globe in half is to go the other direction, whoopsh, right across the equator like that. So if you were to slice it one of those two ways, you would get two hemispheres, two halves to the Earth. Now, first of all, let's look at cutting it right along the equator, like here. If we cut it there, the top half is called the Northern Hemisphere and the bottom half is called the Southern Hemisphere. That's not too tough now, is it? Okay, what if we were to cut it right along the prime meridian, straight up and down like this? We would get two different halves. We would get the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. Now, where is the United States? Here it is, where you live in the U.S. The United States is in the Western Hemisphere, as you can see here. And it's also in the northern hemisphere. If we cut it along this way, everything from here up is the northern hemisphere. The United States is located in the northern hemisphere. So depending on how we cut the Earth in half, it's either if we cut it this way, the United States is in the western hemisphere. If we cut it this way, the United States is in the northern hemisphere, or northern half of the United States. The other two things that you need to know which are real easy, I'm sure, for you guys, is the North Pole and the South Pole. The North Pole is located right up here at the top of the Earth, and the South Pole is located down here. Now, don't think that there's actual poles there. Uh, it's just an imaginary spot where the Earth is spinning at that exact point here and here, the North Pole and the South Pole. 